Pokemon Legends ZA was recently announced and I am very excited for it, but one question immediately came to mind when I saw it. What will the starters be? Pokemon Legends Arceus, the first installment in this series, took place in past Sinnoh, but the starters were Rowlet, Cyndaquil, and Oshawott, three Pokemon not previously obtained in Sinnoh. I expect the Legends series to continue this trend. There are four main criteria I believe exist for Pokemon Legends starters. The first and simplest is that it can't be starters from a previous Legends game, so Rowlet, Cyndaquil, and Oshawott are out. It'd be weird if they repeated any of those in back-to-back -back Legends games. The second criteria is that it cannot be the new starters from the same generation. Legends Arceus is a Gen 8 game, and the Gen 8 Galar starters are nowhere to be seen in Legends Arceus, since they just received focus in their brand new game, Sword and Shield. Therefore, I don't think Sprigatito, Fuecoco, and Quaxley will be starter choices in Legends ZA. I actually don't think they'll be obtainable at all, along with all of the other Paldea Pokemon. There were not any Galar introduced new Pokemon available in Legends Arceus, so I think the same will be true moving from Scarlet and Violet to Legends ZA. The third is that they cannot be starters previously selectable in the region where the game takes place. Legends Arceus gave us a new story in a familiar place, and changing the starters added more of a fun twist to that. I expect Legends ZA will do the same, and therefore not give us starters that Kalos has seen before. This eliminates Chespin, Fennekin, and Froakie, plus Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle. In case you forgot, X and Y are the only games to ever allow the player to choose two starters from two sets of three. I would be very surprised if we could choose any of these six again, but I feel very confident we'll be able to obtain them maybe in the wild, like how we could find wild Sinnoh starters in Legends Arceus. The fourth and final criteria is that they have to be Pokemon that can get a new form. Legends Arceus gave Decidueye, Typhlosion, and Samurott new regional variants to add an exciting new twist to them, plus to align them more with the culture of the Hisui region. I expect the fully evolved Legend ZA starters to get some kind of new form, but what form exactly? If the new Legends game was anywhere but Kalos, I would say just straightforward regional variants like in Legends Arceus. However, we know that Mega Evolution is coming back for Legends ZA, and therefore I think it's extremely likely that the new starters are going to get never before seen brand new Mega Evolutions. Now, I know this has some downsides because if you transfer them to another game, the Mega Evolution isn't going with it. Whereas if you have a regional Hisuian Decidueye, you can move that to another game and it's still a Hisuian Decidueye, for example. However, even though that downside exists, I still feel like Mega Evolution is what they're gonna do here. They announced the game with, hey, look, Mega Evolution is back. And so I feel like giving the starters new Mega Evolutions is gonna be a really big draw, like how they gave new Mega Evolutions to the Hoenn starters in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Now, I suppose they could also give all the Final Evolve starters new regional variants and Mega Evolutions for those regional variants, but that would be two new forms per Pokemon. I don't know if they've ever done that before, so I feel like that's way less likely. So if we're picking starters to get new Mega Evolutions never before seen, the Hoenn starters are eliminated, along with the Kanto starters, again. All of them got Mega Evolutions back in Gen 6, and I would be very surprised if they got new ones. I think they'll be in the game, though. I feel strongly that any Pokemon that has ever had a Mega Evolution will be available in Legends ZA, except maybe Rayquaza, but even then they could do some kind of post-game thing. You know what, I'm calling it now, the Kanto, Hoenn, and Kalo starters will all be obtainable in Legends ZA, just not as starters you pick to start your adventure. I will say the Kalo starters do not have Megas, so they could be candidates here, but again, I'd be very surprised if they got new Megas since they don't have them in X and Y. I suppose there could be some kind of excuse about like, oh, there was a Chestnutite, but it was lost over time, and that's why they don't exist in X and Y, but eh. That feels like kind of convoluted, just doesn't sit right with me. By the way, quick side note, I've seen a lot of people talk about how, oh, uh, Legends ZA is gonna be in the future, Kalos, where, no. 
I understand the look of Lumios is futuristic in the trailer, but it's actually just a 3D representation of a blueprint within the urban redevelopment plan. It seems to me that the story of the game will be the player assisting in building Lumios City into what it is in X and Y. Therefore, Legend ZA takes place in the past. So with all these criteria, we've eliminated the Kanto, Hoenn, Kalos and Paldea starters, plus Rowlet, Cyndaquil, and Oshawott. That leaves us with Chikorita and Totodile from Johto, all three Sinnoh starters, Snivy and Tepig from Unova, Litten and Poplio from Alola, and all three Galar starters. But which of all of these options would become the three starters in Legend ZA? Well, we can make an educated guess based on how they selected starters for Legends Arceus. But how did they do that? One theory I think holds weight is that they picked the most popular starter from the chosen regions. In the 2020 Pokemon of the Year vote, Rowlet and Decidueye were the number two and three most popular Pokemon in Alola, while Incineroar and Primarina were six and eight, respectively. Then in Johto, Typhlosion and Cyndaquil were four and eight, respectively, while the only other starter to break the top 10 was Totodile at number 10. But then Unova kind of breaks this theory a bit. Superior was the top starter at number six among all Unova Pokemon, while Oshawott was number seven, albeit only losing by 279 votes when each got around 22,000. But then Snivy came in at number 13, while Samurott was down at 18. This indicates that the Snivy line is more popular than the Oshawott line. However, it's not dramatically more popular, like both of them are compared to the Tepic line. None of them cracked Unova's top 30. So the popularity theory isn't airtight, but it does tell us that none of the starters chosen were unpopular. They're either the most popular starter in their region, or they're the second by a small margin. Let's first look at the Sinnoh and Galar starters popularity. These are the only two viable starter groups left with all three starters available. So simply due to having more available, these trios are the most likely to have a starter selected from them. In Sinnoh, the Piplup line is the most popular. Piplup finished at number four of Sinnoh Pokemon in the Pokemon of the Year vote, and Empoleon was at nine. Infernape finished close behind Piplup at number five, but neither Chimchar nor Monferno made it into the top 30. Meanwhile, Torterra was at 12, while Turtwig was at 21. To me, this shows Piplup has a clear lead, but I do think Chimchar is still popular enough that it could still be selected, much like Oshawott being selected over Snivy. Turtwig and Torterra though, I think they're too far behind, making them least likely of the three, which is a bummer, I love Torterra. In Galar, the Scorbunny line is the most popular. Cinderace was sixth, while Scorbunny was 12th. Inteleon beat Scorbunny, finishing at 10th, but Sobble was at 14th, so the Scorbunny line's average position was higher. Grookey, meanwhile, was down at 20, while Rillaboom was down at 29. As for the other pairs of starters, in Johto, Totodile finished at 10, while Feraligator was at 16. Chikorita was at 14, but neither Bayleaf nor Meganium made it into the top 30. Totodile has the edge over Chikorita. In Unova, as already discussed, the Snivy line is the most popular, with Tepig very far behind. Finally, in Alola, Incineroar was 6 and Litten was 13, while Primarina was 8 and Poplio was 28. Litten has the clear popularity advantage. So that covers popularity, and I have some ideas from that, but there's another theory for how the Legends Arceus starters were selected. Connection to the culture of the region, despite not being from it. Loxton has a great video about this, but to summarize it, Hisui and Sinnoh are based on Hokkaido, which is the northernmost part of Japan. Decidueye, Typhlosion, and Samurott all have inspirations tied to Japan even before their Hisuian forms were created. Samurott is a samurai, which is pretty straightforward. Decidueye is an archer, which was actually a more common combat method than sword fighting for samurai, and that matters because Hisuian Decidueye is a ronin, a wandering samurai with no master. Finally, Typhlosion could be partially based on a Mujina, a badger-like yokai. So I believe the most likely starters are ones that are not only popular, but have ties to France, since Kalos is France. With that in mind, here is my official prediction for the Legend ZA starter trio. First is Snivy. It's the most popular Unova starter, and with Unova getting skipped over for a revisit, making Snivy a starter in Legend ZA would give Unova at least a little bit of love. Additionally, Superior's design is very French. 
Superior represents Western culture, while Embor represents Chinese and Samurai Japanese, but specifically, Superior focuses on aristocracy and royalty, something not exclusive to France, but a big part of its history. Its face is white, like the skin whitening fashion in Europe, and its color is reminiscent of a fleur de lis, a symbol most commonly associated with France. Some also theorize Superior's amplification of sunlight is a nod to King Louis XIV of France, referred to as the Sun King. Plus, Ken Sugimori specifically mentioned Superior being inspired by Lady Oscar from the manga The Rose of Versailles, a historical fiction series set in France. Speaking of extremely French starters, uh, Empoleon. Napoleon is most of its name. Specifically, Napoleon Bonaparte, one-time emperor of France. It's even got these frilly collar things like certain depictions of Napoleon have. And as we already discussed, this line is the most popular in Sinnoh, so I think Piplup will be the water starter. Finally, fire. No starters are as obviously French as Superior and Empoleon, so admittedly this connection won't be as strong. The remaining fire starter options are only Linton and Scorbunny to avoid taking two starters from the same region, thus eliminating Chimchar and Tepig. Both Linton and Scorbunny are the most popular available starter in that region. Between the two though, Scorbunny makes a lot more sense to me because Cinderace is a soccer player. Modern association football has its roots in England and English football is absolutely huge, hence why Cinderace exists in the UK inspired region of Galler. However, soccer is still a big deal in France. Their national team was founded in 1904, around the same time as FIFA, and since then their men's team has won two World Cups, first in 1998, then very recently in 2018. I do not follow soccer, but I know of their most famous pro team, Paris Saint-Germain. So while it's not as good as Superior or Empoleon, Cinderace's connection to France isn't nothing, and is definitely stronger than Incineroar being a wrestler. Like, yeah, Andre the Giant was French, but like, France has won the World Cup twice. There's only a few other countries that have done that. So my final prediction for the starter trio is Snivy, Scorbunny, and Piplup, with each of their final forms getting a never before seen mega evolution. Maybe a regional variant too, but mega feels more likely. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to see more stuff for Legend ZA and whatever other Pokemon stuff I talk about, make sure to subscribe. And there's a video on screen that YouTube thinks you specifically will really enjoy. So check that out. But that is all I have for now. So until next time, big fans, gotta catch them all.